listen, it's January and everywhere you look, people are talking about working out, getting fit, yada, yada, yada. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of those people because you know what, I've been doing it for like a year now and it's important to me. But one thing that I think people leave out quite often that has actually been a huge part of my success is showing up to the gym in a way that it's like a place I wanna go. And when I wanna go somewhere, I also usually want to look good and feel good when I go to the gym. So one of the things that's been a huge part of my success is dressing for the gym like it's a place I wanna be, and that means cute outfits. So I thought, how can I throw that on top of a haul, but also like add a little extra sparkle, right? Cause I am glitter and lasers. We need to glam it up a bit. So I thought, well, why not just throw one other thing that I really love in there as well? So today we're doing workout outfits inspired by Disney princesses. Yes, it is a haul to get you excited for the gym and also let your inner princess shine. Let's get into it. Let's start with Snow White, okay? Now, for these, I kind of loosely base them on the character, i.e. we're gonna be using their colors. In some cases, the way those colors are on the outfit and other ways we've interpreted them a little bit different. So it's more like a bound than like a costume. And let's be honest, I wouldn't wanna work out in a princess dress anyway. So the first thing we have for the Snow White look are these amazing blue leggings from a brand called Vitality. They are a brand that I discovered this year. Very comfortable, very lightweight. I love these for like yoga and anywhere where you don't need a ton of compression, but you still want to be supported. So these are in a royal blue color. Again, a nod to Snow White. Then we got a sports bra. Now this is a brand I haven't been able to wear until just recently. This is from Airy, and I believe I have this in a 2X. Their 2X is pretty generous. It fits like a 2022 and it's a nice rib knit. Again, going to give us a nice little compression on the chest, but not too tight. So again, good for like a yoga experience. And my favorite thing in this look is from Girlfriend Collective and it is this bomb bright yellow windbreaker cropped. It's just cool. This is just a cool piece. I have this for my personal wardrobe. I did not buy this for the haul. Actually, I didn't buy the leggings for this haul either. I already have them. And I just think this is, this is dope. It also has in it, let's say you're running outside and it starts to rain. It does have a hood sewn right in the collar. I'm going to show you the zipper, but I'm not going to pull it out because oh gosh, I don't want to put it back in. But in case it rains, it does have a hood. Now, I took a little inspiration from like the cheer community and I pulled one of these big red cheer bows because we had to acknowledge Snow White's red bow in this look. We had to. Throughout these looks, I'm gonna also be telling you about different active wear shoes that I wear and use and what I use them for. These are Saucony and yeah, it is pronounced Saucony. I thought it was Saucony or Sony or a bunch of other things, but it's, oh gosh, now I've forgotten it. Saucony. <laughs> That's how you say it. Whew. Somebody's still gonna come for me in the comments, I know. These are what I use when I'm indoor running. So when I'm running on treadmills, when I'm running on places that are not outside. Um, why do I have separate shoes for that? It's just more of a courtesy to when I'm training in physical therapy and things like that, making sure that my shoes are clean and I don't pass any mess that I get from the trail or somewhere else on to the place I'm running. You might also ask, why do I not use the same shoes I run on a trail? Well, when I run on a trail, I'm using a shoe with a little bit more cushion. And also, just a pro tip if you're looking to start running, varying your shoes allows you to vary the different pressure you put on your foot and helps you build your foot muscles more dynamically. So that is why I have two different pairs of shoes. Am I totally gonna make the cheer squat this year? <laughs> I literally have never felt more like a cheerleader. I still cannot do anything a cheerleader can do, but I kind of look the part. I think it's the bow. To be very real with you, I would wear this whole look. I probably would not wear the bow. <laughs> but like maybe, this is very in style right now. I just think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I can make it work. But everything else I just love. I will say too, if I were to change one thing, I would swap these for the red shoes, but I really wanted to show you all the shoes I use. So it's important that you see these because these are actually one of my main pair of running shoes. You actually see them in PT a lot if you watch those videos. So our next look is inspired by Aurora or Sleeping Beauty. I'm obsessed with this because I think I did like the best active wear look you could ever have for her. So I just went straight with the hot pink workout outfit. 
from Torrid. We've got the bottoms and we've got the matching top. And what I really like about this set is it has this kind of like meshy insert that I just think looks, it looks cool. That's it, like it looks cool. Does it add any breathability? Maybe, but probably not because it's still lined, just not like you're getting any additional airflow. Maybe here in this like one little panel, but other than that, it just looks cool. I also like how it crosses in the back. Now, to add that Aurora feel, we gotta have the collar, right? So I decided to use this super cute crop from Popflex. Now this is great because sometimes I wear these for just compression on my arm a little bit. I do have loose skin there and I also have some lip edema. So having a garment that actually supports my arm, especially when I'm doing things like running, does really help. So for longer distances and stuff like that, I will wear something like this. Together it makes the perfect Aurora look and now we need the shoes to match. So if you've watched some of my weightlifting videos on shorts, you probably have seen my on clouds. Now you might be thinking on cloud, isn't that like on cloud running? Yes, but these I do not use for running. I use them for lifting and we're gonna talk about why. So as you can see, the sole is pretty flat and that's what you want for lifting, but it does have a lot of cushion. So this is gonna give me the stability for a lifting shoe and also the cushion that I need just being a bigger person. So I use these primarily for lifting. I used to run in these, but because the sole is less round at the front than let's say the Saucony's that we just looked at, these are actually just better for me and my specific body to be lifting shoes. So that's what I use them for. I have a love and hate relationship with this fitness shrug thing. I love the way it feels, but typically I would never get this in white. I also love its armholes. Like, I don't know what it is about armholes that just makes me so happy, but there's this like feeling of just slipping your thumb through the little loop that is so satisfying. So overall, I think I like this. I just don't think I would normally wear it in white, but for Aurora, sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little. And it's on brand for her, okay? She would have worn it. She is not me. That is where we differ. That is why this is a fitness cosplay? Is it a cosplay? Not really. Bound. It's a fitness bound. Next up is everybody's favorite bookworm, Belle. So for Belle, I just went comfy, casual activewear. I think that to be out there and be in nature, you don't need a lot of fancy gear. You can just go on a walk in a sweatsuit. So that's essentially what this, I this idea is around. And also I just love a good matching sweatsuit. So this is from Big Bud Press and it is a yellow. <laughs> it's like, I love this color on me, sweatsuit. And they have these in a whole bunch of different colors. So if yellow is not your jam, they have tons of colors and they are a small business. They're ethically and locally made in California. So if that's important to you, this is a great brand to know and check out. So I just went with her solid gold color, you know, go with it. Now I added for a little piece of flair, a fanny pack. This one just barely works for me. And I think it goes to like a 45 inch. So I think that's around where my waist is right now. I will link another one that is good, but not as maybe stylish as this one that goes, I think to a 55. So I'll have both of them linked down below, but this is just to add that pop of red from the rose. And while we're going with pops of red, I pulled these shoes. Now these are the Ultra Boost M NMDs from Adidas. I do not wear these for uh, running or weightlifting. These are more of like, I want to go shopping or mall walking or something like that. Casual everyday use. They're very, very cushy, very comfortable. And they're really great for like fashion as well. So if you want to be stylish, but you also want a shoe that's going to be supportive and comfortable, this is a great pair of shoes for that. Um, they're also a great like starter shoe. These uh, specific shoes are not available. Ironically, these are hilarious because I got them in 2020 and they are literally the shoes from the pandemic, but we will link a similar pair in this same style. I just like the red and why buy something new when I already have like the perfect shoe. I'm obsessed with this. It's so comfortable and I think it just looks so cool. Also like the bell inspired top bun. Why do I not wear my hair like this? Honestly, right now I feel like a ketchup and mustard queen and who doesn't love condiments? Everybody loves condiments. And you know what? In this, everybody loves me. Next up is everybody's favorite mermaid, Ariel. So I wanted to pull the colors from the tail into the sports bra. So that's why I got this like minty color sport bra. And with it, I have these super cute hunter green 
flare leggings because I was like, listen, it's Ariel. She has to have flare leggings. It's like her tail, right? I would say Lane Bryant's, I think they call it Libby Active, way better than I thought it would be. Like I kind of hemmed and hawed on whether I would wear their stuff and I tried it out and I was like, okay, it's legit. So not a scam. With it, I just grabbed a cropped and kind of oversized sweatshirt. This is again from Airy. Again, Airy sizing on top is really generous. It really fits like a 2022. This is a 2X and it's it's still gonna be oversized by me. So just keep that in mind if you're hesitant. Bottoms, I can't speak to them anymore. I'm still annoyed that they got rid of their plus size denim, but tops, they work fine. There you go. Now with this set, I have paired my trail running shoes, which I guess is kind of ironic now because like Little Mermaid probably is not running on a trail, but it was the right look of shoe for the outfit. These are my Brooks and I think these are Ghost Max 9s. These are ultra cushy. Like you can see how cushy the heel is. This is really important, obviously in a bigger body, that extra cushion is gonna support me when I run and it's gonna help me just like protect all my joints and stuff. I, these are dirty. These are very dirty. You're gonna see on camera they're dirty and that's because I run outside in them a lot. I love them. Big fan. I would say if you are looking for a good starter shoe and you just want one pair of shoes for walking and running and all of that, I'd go with these. I used to be a Hoka stan, like very big into the Hoka. But then when I found these, it's like the world opened up. But I would recommend if you're really looking to get the perfect shoe for you to get your foot checked at a like specialty shoe store and they can help you find the right shoe for your shape of your foot and the way your legs go. Like my left leg, it's a little wonky and it goes to the left. So it changes the way I walk and changes the type of shoes I need. So here's our Princess Ariel. Um, I wanted to show you with the sweatshirt off because the sports bra is so cute. And I love how it's kind of like the full mermaid vibe, but also playing with the colors a little bit. Also, this airy sweatshirt is so comfortable. I'm going to live in this. This is probably gonna be one of my new run sweatshirts, which is sad because I, I would wear it all the time. And it's gonna be a run sweatshirt. It's gonna be a snack sweatshirt. It's gonna be a nap sweatshirt. It's gonna be casual Sunday on the couch sweatshirt. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it because it's very soft. I mean, this has been a good haul for soft sweatshirts. It really has. I'm doing a service here, people. Next up, we have one of my favorite princesses because I just think she's really hot. And like, I'm not into the ladies, but I, I'd switch teams for her. And that is Jasmine. Jasmine is banging. Like, she's like, man, man, man. and she has that nice, mm. anyway. So <laughs> now you know which cartoon character I'm hot for. But uh, we started with a pair of teal leggings. These are from Athleta. These are actually, I don't even know if these are available anymore because I got them right before the holidays. But I would say this style of pant, is available all the time in different colors. So if you like the way it fits me, these are available. Athleta is probably one of my favorite legging brands, just for all purpose. They're a little bit more expensive, but I personally think it's worth it. And I think they hold up some of the best of anything I've tried. Now, with it, I just put this blue sports bra from Popflex. I just love Pop Popflex sports bras. You'll see another one in this specific haul. I just like them. And so I'm gonna shop them out as much as I can. <laughs> They're comfortable and they support well. With it, I paired another crop sweatshirt. This one more of a crew. This is from Old Navy and it gives us that like teal color from Jasmine. I didn't wanna go too light blue because then I felt like we were stepping into Cinderella territory. So this keeps us more firmly in the teal family. What is Jasmine without some bling, right? So I got this really cute like exercise headband. This is a brand that I actually remember from when I used to run many moons ago. And then I saw they still existed. So I got this one and they're called sweaty bands and they actually line their headbands and velvet. So they like stay better on your head and they're always super cute. So I figured she could have like a little bling headband and that would kind of tie to the bling that she has. And then I was like, let's extend the bling theme a little bit further. So I used this character as an excuse to buy these super ridiculously cool gold sneakers. <laughs> these are from New Balance. 
Uh, I cannot tell you what I will use them for because candidly, I have not worked out in them yet. So I don't know how they feel on my foot and I don't know what they'll be best for yet. Looking at them just generally, they look very flat, right? So there's not a lot of toe upturn. So they might be a second pair of lifting shoes for me. I don't care though, because I just think they're cool. They're dope, right? Those are some dope shoes. Okay, I'm obsessed with the shoes. I also really love the leggings, but I'm obsessed with the shoes. The shoes are the best part of this. Uh, did I need another pair of shoes? No, but I'm allowed to have nice things. And these are pretty nice. I will also say this sweatshirt is from Old Navy. And if you like a good crop, this is very comfortable. I'm wearing a 2X, so size down. Because <laughs> I could probably fit a 1X, but I like kind of like the oversized feel. Oh, and there's the bra, so you can see it. It's just a navy bra. It's it's very comfortable. That's why I put it with this look, because the, the Pop Flex Vaz bras are like pretty banging. Like, to be very real, I really like them. Um, yeah, there you go. Is the look. This is one of my favorite looks in the whole series because it's just so unique. And I love that it's for Princess Tiana because I love Princess Tiana. I think The Princess and the Frog is like one of the most underrated Disney films of all time. The music is banging, like best soundtrack is good. So we're starting with some olive green leggings. These are from Nike. These are their classic leggings, just center fit. Nice logo down at the bottom good, nice stretch to these. I like Nike. I do like that they offer tall options and plus size, though I will warn you, they sell out very quickly. So we thought olive green, again, starting with the base color from Tiana. Now we're gonna use white to accent just because when you see the layer that goes over this is a lot. So I wanted to just tone it down a little bit because it's one thing to like be inspired by Princess Tiana. It's another thing to look like a human version of the Jolly Green Giant. So I wanted to have that build. <laughs> So we went with this cool kind of corset style activewear top. Oh, that's the front so you can see it. And it's a little bit of a mock neck. This is from Old Navy, rib knit, lightweight, great layer for running. So I do wear a lot of vests when running because I sometimes don't get cold enough for a jacket, but I like the heat in the midsection. So this is a great layer for under a vest. Speaking of under a vest, now I get to show you the bomb ass piece that goes in the Tiana outfit that makes it legit one of my favorites. This is the vest. It is so dope. So it has almost like a short sleeve to it. And the sides are cool because you can unsnap it to get quick air into your body if you get hot. And the back is more of like a loose fabric. So it's like medium grade heat and easy to like get air in and out. And I just think it looks dope. I think this looks expensive. I think this looks high fashion. This is like workout wear couture and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> and I haven't worn it yet because I was like, I can't wear it until I film this video. So now watch out. You're gonna see this on my runs cause I'm obsessed. I think it's so cool. Also this color, just, it looks great on me. Some people does not work for it, but for me, I light up the room when I have it on. <laughs> to finish off the Tiana look, I have a pair of shoes that's actually one of my newer pairs of shoes in my arsenal. And I want to show them to you because they're really important. These are my recovery shoes. These are what I wear around the house because I have like a cement floor. It can be really hard on your feet and what I wear after a run. And these are from Tiva. I can't remember the name of them, but I will link them down below and they're just slides. So the reason I love this shoe and why I hate the Birkenstocks is because of the flexible sole. It's just better for your foot. And I was noticing with the Birkenstock that I was getting weird knee pain when I was wearing them. And I was attributing it to my working out. But when I removed the Birkenstocks, my knee pain went away. And when I replaced them with this, I started having faster recovery times. So I wear these in my house all the time. In fact, I took them off my feet to just hold them up to the camera. And now I'm literally putting them back on to film the rest of the haul. So you might've noticed that these are not the leggings I showed you originally. And there's a good reason. I had tried everything on in this haul, except those Nike leggings. And when I put them on, I realized they were so cheap and so terrible that I could not recommend them to you. Um, it's my bad for not looking closer when I was putting this together. So I grabbed these leggings from Pop Flex, which I already have and love. So 
these are just a better option. Don't buy those other leggings, they suck. Uh, I love this look. I think it looks so cool. And I love like this cut over with the pant and the crop. I think this is, I think this is fierce. Like this is a bad bitch. She's gonna walk a lot or recover because she's in her recovery shoes. Look, I had to do Cinderella, right? I had to do her. So, and I can't believe I found this in plus because I feel like light colored activewear is not super common in plus, but I did manage to find at Old Navy powder blue leggings and a matching powder blue top which is kind of just blows my mind because I didn't expect to find it, but I did. Now, instead of having her like choker or headband, I decided to go with a powder blue scrunchie. So it like ties to the athletic wear. I like that this has like a silky vibe to it. Just like, I'm a princess, <laughs> right? Now, over top is one of my favorite things to wear being active. I wear it running, I wear it hiking, I wear it everywhere right now. It is a lightweight Sherpa that is super affordable. It's from Walmart, guys. And I now own this in white and black. And I got one for my stepmom. I I think, I think Tracy has one too. Actually, many people in my life have this because I talk about it incessantly. This, I believe, is around $20. It might be a little bit more, but I think it's around $20. It is super soft. It is the perfect weight for when it's not too cold and not too hot, which is not helpful because that is not a temperature, but it's the perfect medium grade jacket. It's very stylish looking. So if you just want to throw it on over something, it works with pretty much everything you wear. And honestly, it looks way more expensive than it is. It's very soft. It's very comfortable. And for most of pre-filming, I had to fight Data because all he wants to do is lie on this because he thinks it's a blanket. So it passes the Data blanket test which is really um, important to me because I sometimes use it to trick him into cuddling with me. When you have an introverted dog, you gotta work with what you've got. So these shoes are from a brand called Atreyu and they are a small business here in Austin, Texas that makes running shoes. These are my bopping around shoes. They're my fashion, but also really good for your feet shoes. And I would suggest if you are looking for a white pair, a crisp white pair of shoes that goes with pretty much everything that is also great for your foot, I would recommend a Treyu. Also, they just look cool. They look like, what's this brand? Like I should know about them and you should. Uh, I also love all the little B details they have. And honestly, I love supporting a local business that's really focused on helping runners of all different bodies and all different sizes run. So why wouldn't I shout them out? Also, it looks dope with this outfit. You can't deny it. Okay, we can all admit that the bangs are a little questionable. They are not real, but I wanted to commit, right? And she needed bangs. She just needed bangs. So here we are, we're banging it. But we can also agree that this look is bang in. So bangs, bang and look, it just all goes together so well. Except one thing, one thing's a little different. I will not be leaving one of these shoes anywhere because <laughs> I like them too much and no man is worth losing a good pair of shoes. That's my advice to you, Cinderella. No man is worth losing a good piece of shoes. No man is worth losing, that's my <laughs> piece of shoes. Guys, that, my brain's broken today. Apologies. Now we are on our last Disney princess, another, in my opinion, underrated Disney princess, which is Rapunzel. So if you haven't seen Tangled, shame on you. We are starting with a power purple pair of pants. Whoa, that was a lot of peas. I did not anticipate that. These are from Beyond Yoga. Beyond Yoga is super inclusive. They offer a lot of different sizes. They go up to a 4X and their 4X is pretty generous. I wear between a two and three X in their clothing. These are, I believe, are a three in their bottoms. And I think that's because their two X runs a bit big. Now, with the purple power pants, my favorite sports bra of the moment, which is also from Popflex because I love me some pop flex. It's just got ruffles and it's freaking adorable. So how could I not? How could I not? It's so cute, right? Who doesn't want to be cute when they work out? This is like perfect for working out at Disney. And I'm a big fan of working out at Disney. So adorable, right? Now, what do we know about Rapunzel and Tangled? Flowers, right? Where's the flowers? I got you. So this is like one of my favorite little things that I have in my life, which are 
these body strap water bottles. And when I go hiking and I don't want to carry a lot, this works perfectly. And they also have this little chain back here. And I typically attach Data's water bowl. So I can take everything with me just in this. There is a little packet back here. You can slide your keys or like a credit card. And this becomes your whole thing that you're taking on your hike. And if it gets too heavy, you can grab onto the handle and hike with the handle. But overall, I use this pretty much anytime I do a long hike with Data. You probably have seen my other bottle, the one that is not flowers. I have one that is smiley faces that you might have seen in some of my other content. But I love this and I think it is super practical and super easy to use. And it adds the touch of flowers that we needed to really have a true look inspired by Rapunzel. I feel like Rapunzel's a bit like wild, which I love because I'm a bit wild. So I decided to pair her with my Tevas. Now they have a little pink, which was like the closest I could get, but I just wanted to show them. I wear the, I think they're called Terra LTs, but I'll link the proper ones down below. Basically, these are the ultimate hiking summer shoe. They're also my ultimate travel shoe. If I go to Disney, I bring Tevas. If I go on an international trip, I bring Tevas. If I go hiking in the summer, I bring Tevas. These shoes have done me so well. They have been great for my feet, great for my plantar fasciitis. In fact, when I had really, really bad plantar fasciitis, which is thankfully not the case anymore, these are the shoes, pretty much like the only shoes that I could wear for a long duration of time without pain. So I couldn't be more of a Tiva fan. Uh, and I just had to make sure that they made this haul. And this felt the most summery of all the looks. Okay, so I think the hair just definitely makes this next level. I feel so cute. And I just love the vibe that this is giving. Like, she clearly loves nature. She's clearly ready to hike and she's gonna look fabulous doing it. Okay, <laughs> so that is everything in my Disney princess inspired lookbook activewear haul. I actually had so much fun putting this together and honestly so much fun creating like little styles based on something I love, which is Disney. So if you really love this, let me know down below. I'd love to create more hauls slash lookbooks slash fan love letters for y'all. Uh, with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. L links are down below or through Google Shopping, whichever they're available in. And with that, I'll check you later. And what do I always say? What do I always say? <laughs> yeah. Peace.